So we're going to look at different rank calculations you can perform in Excel based on scores. We'll do a standard rank, then we'll do a rank with no ties, and we'll also do a rank based on groupings in this scenario, male and female. Okay, let's see how this can be done. So standard rank, you would use the rank.eq function. Number is the first argument, that's the first score that you want to rank, comma, and then ref is all the scores you want to rank against, and you would need to lock that reference. You can do that with dollars. I'm pressing the F4 key at the top of my keyboard. If that doesn't work, type the dollars in as I've got them there. And then if I close the bracket, press enter, copy this down, it will rank my scores. Now, where you have the same scores, you'll get a tie in the ranking, and you'll also have missing numbers. Now, another ranking option is rank.average. I copy that down. It does something slightly different. So these three scores here take up position 18, 17, and 16, and the average of those positions is 17. These two positions here take up the rank position 15 and 14, and the average of those rankings is 14.5. So that's what rank.average does. Now I'll just change this back to rank.eq and copy this down. Now what this has done is it's given the highest score, the top rank, so that's okay in this scenario, but what if I was trying to rank, say, run times, 10K run times? I would want to rank the smallest value with the rank of one. So I use rank.eq again. The number I want to rank is here, and I'm ranking against this range of sales, which I need to lock. And then what I do is I use this non-mandatory argument called order, and I'd go for ascending. And if I copy that down, you can now see that the smallest time or the fastest time has a rank of one. Now to rank without ties, what I need to do is count how many times a particular score appears in this list. And the way I can do that is to use the count if function. Now for my range, initially, I just want to look in this cell, but then as I copy the formula down, I'd want to look in these two cells. And then if I copy down to the third cell here, I'd want to count within these three cells and so on and so forth down the list. So my range needs to grow as I copy the formula down. Now the way to do that is to refer to the first range, B3, colon, and then it'll automatically return B3. So my range is currently one cell. Now I'm going to lock that first reference, but not the second. And that means as I copy this formula down, this range reference will grow. Now my criteria is what I'm counting within that range, and that's going to be the particular score for the row that the formula's in. Now, if I copy this down, you'll see that it counts how many times a particular score appears in this list. Now I want to add this number to the rank formula result, and that will result in unique ranking numbers. There'll be no ties in my ranking results. So let's see how I could do this. I would say rank this number, comma, in this range, which I'd need to lock, close bracket, plus, the result of the count if function. And if I copy this down, now what you'll notice is that there is no longer a rank of one in our list, and that's because the first occurrence of the number gives a result of one in the count if function. So what I need to do is subtract one from that result. And now if I copy it down, I have my rank of one. But you'll see there's no ties now in my ranking list. Okay, let's move on to the final scenario. We want to rank based on group. Now to do this, we can't use any of the rank functions. We have to use the count ifs function. So my first criteria range would be the column that contains the grouping. So I'd select that range and I'd fix it. Fixed it with the F4 key on my keyboard. 
And then the criteria for that is the value in that grouping field. My second criteria of range would be the score column. And I'd need to lock that. And the criteria for that would be greater than ampersand, the score in this row. So what we're doing is we're counting how many scores are above the score in this particular row. If I close the bracket, press enter, and then copy this down. And what you'll notice is that you get two scores of zero. This is where there are no numbers above the top number within each group. So what I need to do is I need to add one to my calculation and then copy it down. And now you can see how I have rankings within each group. So I have my female rankings and then I have my male rankings. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.